Hello, my name is Tina Tong, and I currently serve as the Associate Director of the Vaccine Research Program in the Division of AIDS at the National Institutes of Allergy and Infectious Diseases at the NIH. In my role, I serve as the HIV Vaccine Development Liaison and facilitate the commercial manufacturing of government-sponsored HIV vaccine products in support of the public health need for an HIV vaccine. A huge part of what I do is helping to establish successful multi-sector partnerships and promoting public-private collaboration by managing the contributions of each partner across the vaccine development and clinical trials life cycle. I am so excited to be participating in Health Professions Week 2020, and I look forward to sharing my journey with you all. What I hope to show you today is that unexpected challenges can lead to a meaningful path, particularly for those of you listening today who have a specific career in the health professions in mind. So where does my journey begin? Like the typical bright-eyed undergraduate student at the University of Virginia, I went in thinking I'd become a medical doctor. I did all the right things. I earned good grades. I volunteered. I took the MCAT and scored well, and I got professional experience after graduation. On my resume, I seemed like a total shoo-in to get into medical school, but that didn't happen. Amid two rounds of unsuccessful medical school applications, what I did was laid the groundwork for my future career in vaccine development at the US military's HIV research program. I completed a master's degree at Johns Hopkins University while working full-time, giving me the needed credentials to earn a promotion. I am also currently a DRPH candidate at the University of Illinois at Chicago. I owe a lot to the support of my family, especially my husband, James, and my sons, Alex and Ethan and also to my mentor, Dr. Mary Maravich, who continually invests in me. She showed me I was capable, allowed me to take risks and matched me with certain areas of responsibility um, within the vaccine development life cycle based on my skill set and passion. Surround yourself with people who will encourage and support you. This type of network is critical to being successful no matter what path you take. Now, if you were to ask me back in high school, I would say that in order to be a health professional, you were either a doctor or a nurse. Those were your two choices. Now, being in the position that I am in and the path on which my education and my career have taken me, I see very clearly that health professions really run the entire spectrum. It's not just the doctor or nurse. It's the lab technician, perhaps your local health department, the clinic staff, the counselors, the health educators. Again, every role across the system is important and every person, place and thing within that spectrum has an important role in the delivery of healthcare and health equity to those within our society. The sentiment really hit home for me when I was able to travel to our NIAID clinics in Africa. Again, being able to visit our clinics, I thought, wow, I really am having an impact on people's health. I'm not patient facing, but my work is still important. I saw participants who were involved in our studies, mothers with babies strapped to them who had traveled for hours to go to a clinic where our vaccines are tested in clinical trials. The clinics offer a place where participants can seek needed medication, a safe place to learn about research being done in the community and so much more. Now back in Bethesda, I may be doing paperwork, sitting behind a desk, organizing meetings, but I'm helping to enable the research that eventually has an impact in the field. Having built a strong foundation in my work in HIV vaccine development, I was able to easily pivot to the NIH's COVID-19 vaccine efforts. My work has value and impact, and that is an incredible feeling. If I can inspire any one of you who may feel discouraged by the demands of a pre-med education, or perhaps the disappointment that comes with the medical school or nursing school application process. Again, not taking away from the value or importance of those professions, but there are so many avenues that one can pursue to have an impact in health. I think now more than ever, we see the need and importance of health professions across many sectors. I think it's important for potential students to realize the breadth of options that are available to them and how each and every role is critical to the public health response.
especially in these pandemic times. No one system is working in isolation. Thank you so much for letting me share my journey with you today. Every path is unique, and I hope mine can inspire future public health leaders. We need you now more than ever.